there's all kinds of animals there. And just from talking to Sean, he seems really passionate about it, and so it makes it something I'd want to help support if I can. And I just, you know how much they care. And I really can't imagine the neighborhood without him. Well, you know, Sean Casey is, is like a neighborhood resource. You, you drive by here every day. I live in the neighborhood, and it's just amazing how many people from the neighborhood come on out. The best thing about Sean Casey is that he's, he's optimistic. Uh, he's not burned out. Uh, he ex still expects the best from people in terms of adopting how they treat dogs. He said it's a great place for young people and for teenagers to be, and everyone who's interested or feels compassionate about animals can find a place here. We, we really do a lot. Um, you'll see people from all walks of life sitting out in front of in front of this place, sitting on the bench. You'll see uh, you know, a 70-year-old woman talking to a 18-year-old kid with tattoos and, and piercings coming out of his face. People who would never have a conversation on a day-to-day -day basis are meeting and interacting, and it really makes for an interesting melting pot.